More issues for United. This time, a flight traveling to SFO from Frankfurt, Germany, had to return to the airport after a toilet overflowed in the cabin. A spokesperson for the airline saying the incident involved a maintenance issue. Crowd Force Rob Nesbitt has been talking with travelers at SFO about how they're choosing their airlines. He joins us live at the airport with more on that. Rob, sometimes there's not really a choice in the matter, but geez, United's got some bad press lately. Yeah, nobody wants to hear about a toilet overflowing on a plane, Grant and Noel. And United Airlines has been a hot topic in the news and social media the last few months. But travel experts, they're not seeing changes when it comes to bookings and the trends of bookings. It seems that travelers still find convenience and price to be the most important. Passengers traveling on a United flight from Frankfurt, Germany to SFO Friday had a less than pleasant experience when one of the plane's toilets overflowed. That one might deter me from flying. Passengers were accommodated in hotels in Frankfurt and put on a different flight the next day. I spoke with senior airline business reporter at the Points Guy, David Slotnick, about the incident. Was that a safety thing? Was that a maintenance thing? Was that something else? I mean, it's worth noting that a lot of other airlines have had similar issues where flights have been had to be diverted because of a toilet overflow or an issue with the toilet. A United spokesperson said the incident involved a maintenance issue with one of the aircraft's lavatories, the latest in a series of mechanical and safety issues involving the airline. But it did not deter travelers like Vincent Wong from booking United. For us, we don't, we're not really committed to any airline. It's just whatever is the easiest, uh, fastest fit our schedule. That seems to be the industry trend, according to travel industry analyst Henry Hardevelt. He says that United CEO Scott Kirby sent an email to members of the airline's Mileage Plus loyalties program, acknowledging the recent maintenance issues and promising an increase of training for maintenance workers. And yes, United has unfortunately had a series of problems, and many of them have involved flights to or from San Francisco. But I'm not hearing or seeing any data that suggests people are avoiding United, nor do I think anyone should. Hardeveld says that the NTSB is not investigating the United flight that had the toilet overflow. Since they only investigate the most serious issues, the FAA has said that it will be stepping up its oversight of United, sending more inspectors to airports. Reporting live at SFO, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Cron 4 News. Yeah, I mean, on the list of issues, they've had tires falling off, which is a huge, very concerning thing. Lavatory, definitely uncomfortable for passengers, but not necessarily uh, the most serious of issues that they've been facing.